Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode three of QCS Top Dog, the search challenge. Our Delta unit dogs are trained to detect a range of contraband and play a vital role in increasing the safety of our centres by keeping illicit drugs out of our prisons. They are also trained to track, which is useful in instances where prisoners attempt to abscond or people trespass on prison property. Let's meet a couple of today's passive alert drug detection dogs and their handlers. I'm Luke and this is my pad dog Ernie. As you see he's a bit of a rascal but he's pretty obedient. Tap your leg and he jumps by his side ready to go into action. So Ernie's been in service for about four years. Uh, he came from uh, the army. Uh, ironically his brother's name is Bert, so Bert and Ernie. This is my best mate Tomo. Tomo is a passive alert drug detection dog. He's an eight year old Labrador and he loves his job as well. So normally Tomo searches for drugs, but today I've received good information from an undisclosed source that there's Tim Tams in this office area somewhere. So I'm gonna reprogram Tomo to search for Tim Tams today. We also have Ryan and Cooper from Townsville Correctional Centre. Brad from Capricornia Correctional Centre with Axel. And we welcome back the team from Southern Queensland Correctional Centre, Tim and Boss. Kicking off today's search challenge is Luke and Ernie. So Luke and Ernie, Townsville, doing a vehicle search. Okay, he's looking for drugs on the vehicles. You can see how the Springer Spaniels are really good in terms of agile, they're fanatical retrievers. Yeah, all they want to do is please, they just think they're looking for a toy. Uh, trained on the scent, they can get around multiple vehicles. Oop, there we go, there's a big indication. There we go, there it is there. So he's found it. There you go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? Uh, it's in the back of in the, the vehicle. Of the yeah, on the back or the underside, oh, yeah. depending on where the flow is of the scent. But he's at the back in there. Now you've got Ryan and, and uh, Cooper doing a search. Need you to search A block and locate any contraband inside the building. Can we do that, Coop? Going to find it for us. So he's going to direct the search on lead. So he's got him working. The they cover a lot of territory in. quickly, don't they? Yeah, they yeah, can. Yeah. yeah, they can cover it quickly. Yeah. So he's going yeah. back to the scent. Depends on where the air is flowing. That's the dog will uh -huh. find uh -huh. the source of it. Follow up. Never yeah. ceases to amaze me how there cute the smell must be. Yeah, since yeah, the smell must yeah, be, yeah. yeah. One way to look at it is like we look at things and we can see 50 different obstacles, you know, or, or, or items on a table or anywhere we can identify what the items are. Well, it's yeah. like a dog, they can identify it through their nose. Through their nose, okay. So, so there you go. There, there you, you go. go. He's, it's he's in the cupboard it. there. That's where it yeah, is. Okay. And he's laid down. So there's the drugs. That's for the handler. They're doing a good job. Yeah. So this one, he's using the Labrador, but he's got the dog off lead. Okay. And, and that's more of just a free range. Yeah, 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 because each dogs are different. Like mm -hmm. it depends on uh, um, how you want to conduct the search. But he's using this dog to, you know, work freely within the spaces. So because there's smaller spaces there, so it's easier for the dog to go in on his own. Yep. And he'll follow the air scent and where that flow is. And, and if he needs to, he can direct him into a particular area. He's a bigger room, so bigger areas to search. Oh, there you go. He's looking a bit more, mm. a bit, a bit mm. more discerning now, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. Yep, there we go. There's something in here. Something in there. <laughs> I wonder what it'll be. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah. go. You sat. Confidence there, opens it up. Well, we've got it here, sir. I wonder what it'll be. Yeah, oh, there, there we go. There. No idea, nothing should be in there. Yeah, there you go. Good, Good boys! Still... No, we found the mother load! Yeah. He done very well. <laughs> here we mm -hmm. are at Southern Queensland Correctional Centre. So he's doing a uh, body search, he's looking for a person, mm -hmm. and um, the dog's picking up on the scent. You'll see he'll go from left to right because it'll be like he'll pick up the scent cone. So mm -hmm. as it narrows, he's going into the where that is the greater source, which is now he's got indicating that it's uh, in this building. 
so he's keeping the lead off the ground, he's got good control over that. He's not uh, hindering the dog in the search, he's going in now for the building search. So is, so is he's looking for an offender. So is every dog trained in the full suite of detections? Yeah, yeah okay, they do so all of that. Yeah, okay. that's why they adopted the police method because yeah, right. it um, yeah. covers all of that so they can do you know, human searches, see so he's indicated yep, there yes. that there's someone hiding in there. Yep. He's found the person. And yeah. uh, he's very excited. He'd like oh, to get in there excited. and bite him. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't he, want to be that So person. you put him back on leave because <laughs> if he doesn't, he's going he's gonna to take a chunk out of him. That's right, yeah. So yeah. he's got him. He's going to order him out. Yep. So he's ordered him out there now. Yes. Okay, so now yeah. he'll take control of him. He's very, very wise to be compliant yeah. at this point, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah, so he tracked... Air sent, use the air scent to find him into that building. Brad and Axel in Capricornia. Capricornia there. Mm -hmm. So he's looking. So all of the dogs yep. can do human search. Yep. They can do drug Drugs. searches, yep. the full range of drugs. Yep. Uh, 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 yep. Chemical. Uh, they, they normally do, um, like the German Shepherds are normally trained on marijuana, hash, oil yeah. and resin. Okay. Um, the pad dogs are trained in all the um, okay. narcotics. Yep. Yeah. So he's, he's found it. Yep. There you go. I'll have that reward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I like the, uh, the methodological way that Scott and Tomo did their, their work. Yep. I thought uh, Tomo mm. was uh, very considered, um, very thorough. So I thought that was a, a good bit of work. Yep, I think uh, <coughs> uh, Tim and Boss were the standout, and uh, yeah, Luke like and Ernie. Yeah. Luke and Ernie, um, they were they were very keen and did a really good job. I, um, I thought you know, Ernie's uh, enthusiasm you couldn't knock. Yeah, that was like he was full of beans and he, he'd do that all day. <laughs> and so, Boss, uh, you know, what a great dog, what a great yeah, young dog. Yes. Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Search Challenge. Tune in next time on QCS Top Dog for the Freestyle Challenge. Are you searching for a new career? We are offering a chance to become part of the team in a frontline public safety agency working to keep Queensland safe. You will be a role model to prisoners and encourage them to amend their behaviours to rehabilitate, reintegrate and lead a successful crime-free life after prison. We have multiple positions currently available at Capricornia Correctional Centre. Do you have what it takes? For more information and to apply, visit corrections.qld.gov.au. Hey Luke, they got a job for Ernie. Ernie, stop stuff around, let's go. Ah, oh, nice coffee. Tomo, you did a great search today, finding me Tim Tams. Here you go, mate.